This is the Farnsworth D15 test. This test is used throughout the world as a grading test for occupation selection. The, the patient has to arrange 15 movable hue samples into a natural colour sequence, which you see here. So they start from the reference point here, which is fixed, and they have to recreate the progression, which you see here. The test divides people into two groups, the first of whom with normal colour vision or slight deficiency who pass the test, and the second group who consists of those who, with moderate to severe colour deficiencies who fail the test. This is Thomas. Thomas is our patient today and he's here to have his colour vision assessed. So we're going to do the Farnham T15 test. So as you can see here, all the colours have been mixed up. And what I'm going to ask Thomas to do is pick the colour from here, which he finds resembles that one the most. And we'll do this until the line is complete. And hopefully this will resemble the sequence we've seen before. So I'll ask Thomas to do that now. It's important, Thomas, you don't touch the colours. If you just look and then just from the side, if you grab them like this. So if you want to get yeah, started. Sure. So you can take your time, no rush. Well, that was great. Thank you, Thomas. I'll take that off you. Okay. So here we have Tom's results here. In order to assess these, we'll just flip them over. Okay. Now, this is the sheet we use to classify each patient. So as you can see here, it says cat numbers, and it goes from 1 to 15. This number is located underneath each colour. So what you do is you write the patient's order above, and you just take that from here. And then with this, we then classify this using the plot here. So we'll just follow around like this. In Tom's case, he made no mistakes, so it would go all the way around. In the case of a typical tritan defect, the lines would go up and down like this, a jutan across the way, and a protan defect horizontally. Bear in mind, this is textbook, so there are variables from this. We normally repeat this test for reliability, and that's done using this plot and just these boxes underneath here.